Oh, the Twisby. This pen is my most commonly recommended pen. It is also the pen that I have given away the most to friends and family, even students when I was a teacher. Anyone that expresses any interest in fountain pens, I often say, well, here, take this Twisby. They are a true workhorse of a pen. Welcome to Pen Thoughts. At long last, for the Twisby. This particular model is the mini piston in rose gold with a steel extra fine nib. I have it inked up with Ferris Wheel Press steeped umber and am writing in a Moleskine expanded notebook. Since I mostly have nothing but praise, Let's start off with the one thing that I'm not a fan of, and that is simply the aesthetic. Generally, Twisby pens feel too bulky. I just don't care for the look of them, but I do really like this mini, and I do like the white and rose gold. So this is probably the most attractive Twisby to me. Now that I've said that, everything else I just love about this pen and Twisbees in general. My experience with them, and I've had a lot, I promise. <laughs> I've had many, many, many Twisby Egos, and I can't even remember all of the names, to be honest, of the different models. But every single one of them can carry a ton of ink. Their nibs are extremely consistent, reliable, smooth, a pleasure to write with, juicy. I, I just, I'm in love with the Twisby pen. All of the hardware is very durable and solid. They feel really well built. And it always makes me wonder then why are other pens with these features priced so much higher? Twisby does it so well for such a good price. Here it is in a lineup with other pens. We have a Lamy Safari, a Sailor Pro Gear, the Twisby Mini, and a Caveco Sport. I've often fantasized about having a massive Twisby collection in which every single one of them are inked up with a different color to suit any mood or whim I have. <laughs> and maybe that dream will one day be realized, but I'm telling you, I keep giving them away. I just love this pen that much that I want to share that the Twisby with the world. So you may be wondering, well, why haven't you talked more about these pens or shared more of these pens on your channel? Why haven't you done a review yet? <laughs> why don't you only write with Twisbees? I'm often always tempted to just have Twisbees. They're affordable. I don't worry about them so much. I can toss it in a bag. But the aesthetic, it gets me every time. I find other pens so much more attractive. And so I tend to seek them out. But gosh darn it, <laughs> these Twisby pens, I'm telling you, are always such a pleasure to write with. And every time I ink one up again, it, it puts a smile on my face. I just enjoy it so much. I really like the balance of this particular model. I've said it already. I think most Twisby pens feel a little bit bulky and big, oversized. But I like the size of this one, the weight of it. It's hefty, 
but not too heavy. I mostly write with it unposted, but it's still perfectly balanced posted. It just, I'll say it one, one last time. I really love this pen. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.